Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. So we're bringing you a little different video than we normally would on walking you through a specific trailer, showing you all the different features and the options on it. But in this video here, unfortunately, a couple weeks ago, we got hit with a pretty nasty hailstorm in the middle of the night. And we did have some damage. We are gonna be having some hail sales here in a little bit. We're working that all out. But what we wanted to show you is why we feel like a Cimarron is the best money you can spend on a trailer. And one of the main reasons why is what I'm standing on. I'm standing on the roof of a Cimarron. We have another trailer comparison that we're gonna show you here in a minute. But these trailers were side by side in that hailstorm that hit in the middle of the night. It was a weird one, it hung around. We had some pretty good hail, uh, pretty good wind. So we got some, some roof damage and some side sheet damage on some trailers. But what we wanted to show you is, again, why a Cimarron is worth the money. So what I'm standing on is I'm standing on their insulated roof. This is standard on every single Cimarron. It doesn't matter what model it is. It doesn't matter if it's a stock trailer, stock combo that I'm standing on, a living quarters, a little bumper pull. They're all the same. So this roof, let's talk a little bit about it. So it's a fiber tech insulated roof. It's a honeycomb design. It's a half inch thick. We're gonna show you a comparison of the two roofs here in a little bit. But let's talk about this roof. As you can see, I mean, I'm standing on it. I can walk around. I don't have to worry about it denning. Uh, it can take 150 pounds per square foot on this, on this roof itself. Now, what happens is, is it takes substantial hail to do any damage to this roof compared to others. So a lot of other competitors will have a, an aluminum sheeted roof, you know, an 030, we'll talk more about sheet sizes here in a little bit. But because of this being that reinforced half inch thick honeycomb design with a gel coating on top of it as well, we really get this strength. Again, you can walk around on this roof. Um, if you've seen some videos, we've taken butt bars and literally hit the trailer, hit it from the inside, hit it from the outside. Again, it takes substantial uh, pressure on top of the roof itself. One of the other things that's so beneficial about this roof is what it does in the stall area. So it does, since it's an insulated roof, it keeps the stall area about 20% cooler than an al aluminum sheeted roof. So for our animals, it's gonna be a more comfortable ride. Uh, we love bringing customers in here in the summertime on this asphalt that you see all around us when it's 9,500 degrees. Come in here at 5 p.m. when the, the sun has been beaten down all day. We'll take you to a Cimarron, you know, horse trailer that's been all sealed up, and then we'll take you to a competitor, and you can feel the difference in just the sheer temperature on the inside. And it's also a quieter ride. We don't have all that aluminum, all that metal-to-metal -metal contact because it's this, inner, this uh, fiber tech roof Again, we're not having that rattle and clank and that vibration creating a lot of noise. But again, this is standard on every single Cimarron. So as you can see, you know, no hail dings in this trailer at all. Uh, the only damage that we really saw on some Cimarrons were, you know, on some living quarters, we had some uh, roof vents that got dinged up and maybe a, a hay pod sheet on top. They actually use an aluminum sheet on the top of their hay pods. You know, we might've gotten a couple of dings there. But in comparison, so you've seen this trailer here, we're gonna look over here to this other trailer that has an aluminum sheeted roof. Everybody else has this roof out there. As you can see, totally different. There is a ton of dings on that roof right there. Again, these trailers were side by side. So, as you can see, that roof right there is pretty much done. Um, now, obviously, right now, it's it's holding you know, water. We're not seeing any leaks, anything like that. But if you wanted to replace that roof, it's a pretty substantial cost. So now if we're talking the cost on these roofs, we're getting the benefits of no hail damage versus hail damage. And then also that temperature control for the stall area for a Cimarron versus that all aluminum roof over there. Now, the other thing is when we talk about our living quarters. So on our living quarters trailers, the other benefit to owning a Cimarron is, is look, if we have to replace that roof, you are taking components out of the living quarters in order to peel that roof off and put a new one on, and then reinstalling items. Talk about additional cost to the whole process. A Cimarron roof, we don't have to do that. We can literally peel the roof off, 
put a new roof on, not disturbing the living quarters on the inside. So definitely cost savings there as well. So there's some, there's some savings there. We're helping our animals stay nice and cool. We're not seeing this hail damage here. So again, no damage. I'm actually gonna make my way over to that roof and we're gonna talk a little bit more about side sheets uh, and the actual weight of that aluminum, that 030 versus an all aluminum roof. So I'm gonna just make my way across here and you're gonna see when I get on this roof, you know, there was no give on that Cimarron roof to where now, as you can see, I'm even standing on the roof bows, making my way across and this roof is moving as I work across. So it doesn't matter if it has hail damage or not. If you stand on these roofs, you need to find these roof bows just for that reason. Cimarron will actually use a, a lighter weight roof bow on their trailers and we can spread them farther apart because of just the strength overall of that roof compared to something like this. But, so 030, give you a little <clears throat> just kind of comparison. A beer can, pop can is 0 0.01 thickness, okay? This right here I'm standing on is 0 0.03, okay? A side sheet on a Cimarron is 0 0.05 compared to this 030 as we refer to it as. So think about that thickness. We're going from a, a pop can, think about how easy it is to dent. And as you can see, it doesn't take much to go ahead and dent these. I mean, we did have pretty good hail that night. Um, and again, the wind definitely caused some other issues when we got into the side sheets. But as you can see, how much give this has compared to the strength of that Cimarron I was just standing on. So early in the of evolution of all aluminum trailers or aluminum sheeted trailers, you would see a lot of 040, 050. But then manufacturers said, hey, we can cut costs, we can get to a lighter weight aluminum, let's go with 030. On a lot of cargo trailers out there, they use 024 roofs or side sheets. So even thinner than what I'm standing on. So what happens is, is these aluminum, you know, it'll heat up and when it cools, what you'll have is you'll have that expansion and contraction. So as it heats up, you'll start noticing side sheets might kind of bubble off a trailer. Um, and then as it cools, they'll shrink down. So what you're seeing is, is on those cargo trailers, if you look down them, and I hate to say this, the, the darker trailers like a, a dark gray, a black are the easiest to tell because when you look down them, you'll start to see those waves or almost wrinkles in them. And that's because it's a lighter weight aluminum. And again, it's expanded and contracted. So you'll get that look to it. So on this trailer here, we're 030, but that just gives you a comparison of what the industry is doing, especially on the cargo side at a 024 versus a lot of horse trailers out there in the market that are doing this 030 versus on a Cimarron and or an 050 on their white skin trailers. Now, if you go to a colored trailer like a silver, champagne, charcoal, metallic, black, you will go to an 040. But with that still being said, that's still a heavier weight skin than even what we're standing on right here. So we're gonna make our way down. I wanna show you some, show you some side sheets, for example, as well. Um, show you the difference in weight. And I've got some samples that I'll show you of this Cimarron roof and then this roof I'm standing on right now. So even with me standing on that, I don't know if you could hear that, but you could hear that aluminum sheet kind of, kind of buckle and wobble, um, creating noise as I walked on it. Now, as we start looking at the side sheets of this Cimarron, so what we had is we had wind coming from the west, kind of southwest blowing to the east, northeast. So these trailers were sitting side by side. So if you look down this, and again, on white sheeted trailers, they're harder to see. Um, when you get into black and charcoal metallic, you, cut, you can kind of see some dings a little bit easier. But as you see, we have no damage on this side of the trailer. And this is the way the wind was blowing. Again, this is 050 aluminum that's on the side of this Cimarron right here. Now, as we work over here to this other trailer, we're looking at 030. So again, white's a little bit tougher but if you kind of look down, I can kind of start seeing some dings kind of throughout this trailer. So not only are we having roof damage, but we're having side sheet damage as well. 
And then this trailer, this isn't extruded aluminum back here. This is actually a stamped aluminum sheet. But now you can start kind of seeing even more dings on this. This should be a little bit more rigid um, as far as this sheet goes itself, a little bit stronger because of we're putting kind of some folds in it. Uh, that's the other thing about 030 sheets is they are a lot more flexible. You can do a lot more with them um, as far as bending them easily, I should say. Uh, but as you can see, I mean, this, this whole side of this trailer got dings in it, side sheets, and then even back here on these uh, stamp sheets. So here's what we have. This is a good look at that insulated roof on that Cimarron I was just telling you about and it was just on top of. As you can see, we've got this honeycomb design, half inch thick, so it's reinforced. And then the, with these, the cool thing about these is if we ever do get substantial hail. Now we had some Cimarrons get hail damage years ago down at our fountain store, um, but they were getting massive hail. I mean, we're talking like baseball size hail. It was crazy. And what happens is it hit this roof and it just kind of spider webbed it a little bit. And we could go in and silicone because we didn't want the water getting down into this actual honeycomb. But all we had to do is seal that. But it takes that type of hail to do damage to these roofs. But as you can see, just the thickness of it, the strength of it. I mean, I'm trying to bend a little bit here. It's got a little give, but not a lot. Um, in comparison to this other trailer with the aluminum sheeted roof, 030, roof material. So look at this, the size difference, the mass of this Cimarron roof versus this competitor roof here with this aluminum sheeted roof. So now if I take this one, look how much flex I have to it. And I'm not hardly putting any pressure to this. So this is an 030 sheet here. Again, definitely a lot thinner, a lot lighter weight, doesn't take that hail like we saw in the Cimarron's. And then for example, this is a Cimarron sheet example right here, 050. So there's definitely a difference in the thickness. And even this doesn't have near as much flex as I'm seeing in this one here. So again, 030 on your side sheets on a Cimarron and a white sheeted trailer. Uh, when you get into, again, the, the colored trailers, you're gonna have a little bit thinner, the 040, but we're still thicker than everybody else pretty much uses in the industry. So definitely a good side-by-side -side comparison of the roofs, the hail damage we had here on the side sheets. Um, with that being said, stay tuned if you're in the market and don't mind something with a little cosmetic dings to it, we will be having some hail sales coming up here. Unfortunately, not on the Cimarron's because they kind of skated through without any issues. So we do take trade-ins. So if you're looking to up, upgrade, maybe even downsize into something else, we do take trades. Financing's available, delivery's available as well. Give us a call, anybody on our sales team can help you out. Our number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in, have a good day.